Who gets goosebumps at that picture then? <laughs> oh, the music stopped. Right. Count as doing it. The lights have come on. <laughs> Friggin' hell, I'm gonna be sick. Stop it! You want ah! to ride it! Welcome to a new vlog. We're mad. We're being mad. We're doing something mad. Quickly get out of there. Don't go go in. A Disney park challenge with Genie Plus. We just bought Genie Plus. We weren't even planning on going to any um, parks today, and uh, we got a bit of FOMO because some of our friends are there. So we were like, let's go. It's about half past nine. It's a Sunday, which is nuts because we never go to parks on a Sunday. But we got we bought both bought Genie Plus. I'll tell you a bit more when I get in the car. We're going to see how many rides we can do today. <sighs> Relax that a little bit, we're in the car. Relax! <laughs> You're um, taking the piss! So we were gonna do non-park things today with it being a Sunday. Um, but then we got a little bit formal, like the Bazers are going to Epcot today. Our friends Vicky and Emma's going into Magic Kingdom. And they were like, oh, everybody's going into parks. So we're like, bugger it, let's do it. Um, so Nick bought Genie Plus, it was $23 each. Uh, now, multi-park Genie Plus. Multi-park. Um, it used to be per park. No, no, it used to be all parks. Right. And they've now split it down so you can buy it per park. That's right. So you can now either buy it per park or multi-park. Now the per parks are usually cheaper, but today it was all the same price. It was $23. No, it was 23 for Magic Kingdom, 17 for Epcot, but all yeah, parks yeah. was 23, same as yeah. Magic Kingdom. So it was a no brainer to just get that. Yeah. So Magic Kingdom was $23. We were going to get that as Nick said, uh, but it was the same price as all parks so we just got all parks $23 what time is it uh, 9.24 it's still quite early. Still early um so we got that Vicky and Emma got that as well because they're in Magic Kingdom we've booked a ride already Big Thunder at 11 Big Thunder at 11 and then we'll just take the day as it comes and see what we get on and see how many parks are going the buses are going to Epcot so we hopefully might go over there and see them so had we thought about it sooner, if we'd have bought it at 7 yeah. and booked our Big Thunder for 11, we'd have been able to book another one at 9. And we'd have been able to book Tron, but like I said, it's a spur of the moment uh, decision to do this today. So come along with us, see what it's like getting Genie Plus on a Sunday and uh, see how many rides we get on. Just listen to our uh, Spotify playlist that we put together of Disney songs when we're driving around here. The Lodge Guys Spotify Florida driving playlist, I think it's called. So we're six minutes away from Magic Kingdom and you it's that park again where you think, oh, just five minutes to go and we'll be in the park. Yeah, right. <laughs> nope. So um, I don't know what we'll get. We'll see what's um, quickest today, whether it is the monorail, monorail or the uh, bottom. Hi, Goofy. We didn't drive through the sign this morning because we came in no, the way, didn't. didn't we? Came That's right. Road. I always have to say hello to a, a, a Disney character as we're driving in. Sherbeth Road, isn't it? Um, it feels a little bit cold this morning. What is it? 24. 24. Imagine saying 24 is cold, but I know we've got the aircon on. And, and, uh, yeah, but it's freaking cold freezing with this aircon. This so, this is what it looks like getting into Magic Kingdom on a Sunday at 9.38 in the morning. Um, oh, tonight's event is sold out, so it's obviously a uh, Halloween day. Boogie Bash. Uh, no, that's that's oh, Disneyland California. That. It's not so scary. Mickey's not so scary. Oh, of course, it's all going to be um, Ooh, trimmed up for Halloween. Top. We've not seen it yet. Oh yeah. Here's got the Halloween things on the uh, parking stands. So it's not too bad getting in so far. So park hours today nine till six. So you do have to check that if there's like events going on, like the. Um, Mickey's not so scary and then at Christmas and I'm not sure what the Christmas one's called always remember to check that if you're gonna have a, a foot one in a full day at Magic Kingdom um, you may you, be turfed out yeah you, you might be turfed out sooner so just plan around that so, yeah um, anytime in sort of kind of like August September October yeah. you're gonna miss so there's gonna be nights when there's gonna be no fireworks on exactly we weren't, we weren't gonna go for the fireworks tonight but we wouldn't be able to stay in to watch the fireworks unless we went to Polynesia or something uh, and it will probably be like the Halloween fireworks tonight which one's standard Because, 
it's just secure to thank God. Whenever we take the uh, umbrella out, we've said it loads of times. If you've got an umbrella, take it into the back, hold it out in front, you get straight through security. And we're, and we're gonna go for uh, the monorail. Right, we're in, oh. and it's a uh, kind of pleasant crowd level so far. Who gets goosebumps at that picture then? <laughs> now, Even as I we didn't do. know we we're coming in, we didn't get Tron. Vicky and Emma's here, they're gonna go on to Tron while we do our first ride, Buzz Lightyear. Which is a 20 minute wait. It's only a 20 minute wait, so uh, we'll see if Genie Plus was worth it later on. Plus needed for this. It's only 25 minutes. Okay, so that was not 25 minutes. That was more like 10 max, which is good because it's one ride under our belt. Now, question is, who's going to win this? Because the last time we rode it, we discovered you don't have to keep pulling the the, um, the, the trigger. You can just hold it in. So it's going to change the dynamic of the ride. Now we've never done this one before. Right. Who's filming? Both. It doesn't really matter about. Oh. Well, if you film, you'll basically use it as an excuse by you lose. You film then. Okay. I hope I film and win. Because then you'll have no excuse. Here we go. Left hand. Lee says his left hand. That's I'm why not he's, he's not going to win on a, left, on a left hand. He always puts his excuses in before we start the ride to justify it. You've just said you've got your left hand and you're doing controls. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, it's much better just holding the trigger down. You've got it easy today. Oh my god, we're never gonna shoot. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm not even. Oh my god, I've got it as well. And I'm being you? We must have got some like. What's it Easter eggs. Easter eggs. 100,000 to start with. Go on, give me your excuse. I'm having to. Oh, kiss my ass. I'm vlogging, sorry. Oh, I can't see now. <laughs> I'm having to vlog, sorry. You are. I'm sorry, I was vlogging. I was vlogging. So Lee just got a, another 3,000 points just at the last minute. But like he said, I'm using one hand and vlogging, sorry. I was left handed. Well, yeah, that's true, but I've had to film. You kept telling me to film stuff. Second ride, Sorry. let's go. Ride number two, people mover. Now, I don't always class this as a ride, even though you do ride it. It's more of just a relaxation kind of thing, isn't it? Today it's a ride. I'm not sure this is going to count, to be honest. Oh, yeah, it's definitely... I know I just said, I don't always class it as a ride, but it is a ride in Disney. Is it on the map and does it have a lead for the wait time? Uh, Yes, if it I does, think it does. If it does, then it's a ride. It's like the TTC or something like that. Monorail doesn't, but we've put that question out on Insta. So is the monorail we'll our first ride or we'll not? We'll use that if we can. Yeah, so officially, second ride of the day, it's people mover. Yes, it counts. Five minutes. So it should really be anything on there counts as a ride today. Yeah. Unless we really need to cheat slightly and add the monorail later today. Let me just check if the monorail's on. <laughs> it won't it's not. Bit. Hi Stitch! Flight of the Navigator Space. Attention travelers, your journey has been temporary. The music stopped. Right, it count, it? The lights have come on. 
have we broken down? There's an exit just there if need be. Well, technically we got on it. Yeah, we, we've done the ride. <laughs> so uh, this is what inspired Epcot and what, um, I think this is like Walt Disney's, it was his vision what Epcot should have been like. That looks like Game of Thrones. Please keep your hands, arms, feet and legs inside the vehicle. I have no idea what she said. So Just like keep your hands in, yeah. And the talk of a guy said there's even a, a mini people mover on in here, so Nick's looking for it. Off we go again. Where's the mini That's people like the mover? Train set, isn't it? Maybe it's that thing there. Oh yeah, oh, train tra train set enthusiast. They're so loving that. Carousel of Progress? Afternoon. Right, Carousel of Progress instead for ride number three. Now I'm, I'm sorry to all the Disney purists and who love the classic rides. I think they should demolish this or completely revamp it and make it all digital and stuff like that. Ooh, you're controversial. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. Oh It's a dream come true for you and me. Patricia, they're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to a Valentine's dance across town. It's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Well there, you blow a fuse. Crap. That's the third one this week. I buy fuses by the case. It becomes a reality. It's a dream come true for you and me. Supper gives Rover and me more time to enjoy our evening stroll together. <laughs> It's a dream come true for you and me. Now it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blast. Oh, okay. Here goes. Temperature to 375. Enjoy your meal. <laughs> Anyone for pizza? Oh, another Christmas turkey ruined. Tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a dream away. Okay, maybe I was a little bit harsh on that. It is a nice little show. They do update it, actually. Like, well, they got their version of a of Alexa. Yeah. Um, just a but they could, they could update it a lot more, a lot more often. But yeah. it is quite a nice show, to be fair. Yeah, well, there's no need to update the 1960s and 1920s. No, well, no, is there? They just have to keep that the last one updated more often. Yeah. Stitch character meet there. Right, we have 25 minutes to get on Big Thunder, otherwise we're going to lose our lightning lane and we're already stacking them. I've already got Haunted Mansion booked after it. So um, we're just waiting for Vicky and Emma to get off Tron and then we're going to race over there. Right, on to ride number four, which is our first Genie Plus of the day, Big Thunder Mountain. Not going to lie as well, I'm getting a bit peckish. Not for them things. I can see what you're looking at. Spring rolls, no. no I fancy something savoury after his next couple of rides, but uh, actually. not sure what yet. The queue is immensely long and the quality always... of them is just not great. Yeah. We've, had them, we've had them once. We have 22 minutes before we lose our window. And we've got Haunted Mansion stacked. So the wait times are pretty low still, 25 minutes only for um, Big Thunder Mountain, but... We have found when we've done Magic Kingdom before, it's probably... It's hit and miss as to whether it's worth it. It will be worth it when we head across to Webcom because yes. I want to do Soaring Over California because that's now started and I want to do Frozen. So it's definitely going to be worth it for that.
drive which is Haunted Mansion and then hopefully we're gonna get a snack. So the standby time is 45 minutes so this one is definitely worth the lightning lane for us. And then as soon as we check in hopefully we can um, do the next lightning lane. So even, so even though even though we, did, we have booked a ride less than two hours ago because we've now got no more lightning lanes that we've got to scan in on it's now unlocked it so we're gonna get pirates. There we go, 1.45, at uh, 12.45. Right guys, a snack after here, yeah? Yeah, Hell yeah. something savoury. Something savoury. Not that crab roll from that place oh, we got no last crab time. Roll. No crab roll. Mickey, Mickey right cookie, now. I think. Okay, <laughs> 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 Our tour begins here in this gallery. Here where you see paintings of some of our guests which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. will be Pirates of the Caribbean which we booked whilst we were after we'd scanned into there. What are we going to do after that? Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe Jungle Cruise? Yeah. Um, and I'd really want to try that Monsters Inc. laughing floor because we've never done it. It was back open again. That doesn't need, that doesn't need to book a lightning No, I thought so. Uh, but we do want to try and get a snack on his way down because I'm hungry now. Uh, did he mention he's hungry? Right, we're going to go for loaded chicken strips, which are topped with cheese, sauce, bacon and green onions and served with... Oh, you get french fries as well. Wow, I'm gonna get a bottle of water as well, I'm, hung, I'm uh, thirsty. Oh, okay. We had those last time and it was, they were very good actually. Oh, wait a minute, you can get a chicken strips with french fries without the loaded. Uh, we'll know, loaded. Yeah, we'll have it loaded. Wow. Can't moan at that portion, can you? Not at all. Look at the size of those tenders. Right, let me try this one that's got the bacon bits and the cheese mm. on. Mm. Oh, very good tenders. Oh yeah, very good. Right, time for ride number six, which is Pirates of the Caribbean. The wait time is 35 minutes if you were uh, standing in that line. It's 10 to 1 in the afternoon and we're, to get Jungle Cruise we have to wait till 5 o'clock, but the standby is only 45 minutes, which doesn't make sense. Maybe we should nip over to Epcot, because we want to do Frozen and Soaring. Good idea, maybe we should just book this, book Frozen, head over there, and then You'll see. Come back. Vicky's on a wet patch. We think it's funny, but that doesn't mean to say that we're not going to get wet on this side. It's not wet, though. But at least you're going to be safe. You're in the middle. If anybody's going to get wet, one of, the, one of us two at the end, and they take the brunt of it. Oh, she 
we've got the next lightning lane, which is Space Mountain, and Lee is bailing on it. So technically, he's going to fail this. Me back. Oh, yeah. Out, you know? so scared. You'll have to just ride the monorail twice or something like that and use that as an ace card. Um, before that, though, we're going to get ourselves a doll whip. I want the uh, raspberry coconut swirl one, and I think these guys want something with the coconut on as well. So we're just heading there now, and then we're going to head across to um, Space Mountain, and then hopefully, when we're in the queue there, we can book Frozen and then get ourselves across to Epcot. Right, so doll whip time. I was tempted with the pineapple upside down cake, but um, I'm just going to go with a swirl. Where's the raspberry? It's not on the menu, as I, as I recall, is it? No, I don't think it is. Here we all are with our doll whips. Um, Vicky got this extra add-on to hers. What is it? A cake pop? Yeah, it's a pine pineapple upside down cake pop. She didn't want, so she said I could have it. Mm -hmm. in front of the castle. Definitely one of the best times to come of the year in September after all the... Uh, well, yeah, and yeah. it's a Sunday as well, yeah. After all the uh, kids' holidays have done. And um, it's just perfect. Right, these guys are off onto Space Mountain. I'm giving it a miss, but to keep up with the rides, because I don't want to be behind, I'm going to see if I can get on Astro Orbiter. See what uh, the queue is like. It doesn't look too bad. What does it say? Oh, 25 minutes. Well, we'll see. Right, we're just about to get onto Space Mountain. I do remember if you go left, it's the worst ride ever. I think it's the worst ride ever left. We went left last time. It's so intense when you go left. Yeah, it was right. quite intense. Um, I don't know where we'll end up, we'll just find out when we get ahead. Just push the control lever forward. So you can Thank go you. higher or lower by um, pulling that forward and back. Prepare for lift off. Here we go. Alright, I've got Vicky to go up front because I absolutely hate the front ride. And I've got to slouch down in my seat as well because I always think you're going to get your head chopped off. It's alright Vicky, if anybody's head's going, it'll be Vicky's first. Person. So if you queue, just say there's one person, try and get your own rocket. The last time we did it, um, which is the only time we did it before now, me and Nick got in one of these of us up together and it was so tight, it kind of hurt going round, so we're always trying to get one on your own. Yeah! Further up. And further up, bloody hell. Let's go up as far as I can. <laughs> this is quite a good ride actually when you're on your own. <laughs> Definitely spoiled it last time. When we were on together. Bloody hell, it's going fast. Oh my god! 
Oh, I feel a bit sick going round in this. Oh my god, I've got stomach! <laughs> These guys, I said to these guys before we went on, I said the uh, the left hand side when you're queuing is far worse than the right. They, they've just said, it's not. It's definitely not. This one was far worse. I've only ever done the left side twice, I think, and I thought it was worse, but that was horrendous. We thought the ride was ending when it went through the red tunnel, and I was like, oh, thank God for that, and then it went back in and we did a little bit more. Oh, it's such a backbreaker. Right, the next ride, which is technically ride number eight, um, and it is Tomorrowland Speedway. No lightning delay needed because it's only 15 minutes. the teacups so we might as well get another ride in this will be ride number nine <laughs> friggin hell I'm gonna be sick stop it you wanted to ride it you wanted to ride it you just gonna no, stop, stop it. it stop it now stop it I'll be bombing me don't whip back up alright then we'll do it the other way shall we no it's too much too you much like a monster leave what let me hold on to the steering wheel Really you wanted to ride teacups. You'll never, want, it. you'll never want to go on again now, will you? You're such a wuss. Get it spinned. Oh, come on. Everybody's moving. Everybody's moving apart from us. Trust Nick to ruin teacups for me. <laughs> At least it'll ensure you never want to go on again. It was spinning the uh, steering wheel like immensely in the It was middle. like waltzes. We were flying around or I felt sick. <laughs> I like that ride now. Right, well it's another one of your favourites now, Small World. Yeah. Ride number 10. The wait time is only 15 minutes but we did get a lightning lane just so we could get straight on. Welcome to the happiest cruise that ever sailed. I dispute that because I've been on a Royal Caribbean and that one a bit nicer.
be you put that out. Um, because their magic bands uh, have picked up their names. I think the batteries are flying out, so it won't do ours. Right, a cautionary tale about um, small world. We were waiting to get off the boat and a woman in front got up and something dropped out of a bag into the water. She didn't know what it was and we were all like, oh my God, can you imagine dropping something in the water as you were getting up? So, Emma stood up and her 200 pound Ray-Ban sunglasses fell off her head into the water and floated away. I'm fuming. It's and the most expensive. Around, sea world. It's the most expensive part of the um, small world. So this is why we go for cheap sunglasses. So things like that don't matter if it happens. So she's got to fill in a lost and found. And I do know from um, reading things on our Facebook for Facebook group that if you do lose something in Disney and they find it and you've already left and gone home, they will ship it back to you for free worldwide. So make sure you keep all your belongings safe as you're getting it out of small world. At least Vicky knows what to get her for her birthday next year if you don't get them back. Some 199 Prime eyeglasses. That's what I get. Yeah. Right, ride number 11 is um, Little Mermaid. They do, it's like the glowing stitch. We've come here to cheer Emma up since she's lost her sunglasses. We saw, I think, either the pecan cluster or the caramel apple with peanuts. Which do you like the look of? Oh, look at everything. Oh my god, chocolate chip cookies. Peanut, peanut butter, butter chocolate, chocolate chip. Oh my god, right, that's what I want. <laughs> peanut butter cookie. Is it good? Yeah. Mm. And uh, we've got Vicky and Emma, one of those massive. Um, Mickey head ones. Not bad value them, I don't think. Five ninety nine, And annual pass discount as well. It's one of the only two places that I know of in Magic Kingdom that you can use annual pass on food. And that's this one, Big Top's over here, and the um, sweet shop on the right hand side when you come up Main Street. Right, ride number 12. We've come back to um, Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. I don't think we've ever done this before. I can't remember. No, we're just going out and walk on 10 minutes. So, as far as we're aware, this is all new. In fact, I remember coming down here in uh, the Halloween. I don't remember what it was. The Halloween cat. Oh, we, we got chocolate down here. In the Halloween. Mickey's hat, not so scary Halloween. Yeah, so it is a cinema then, isn't it? Yeah, but I brenda was down here and my mum grabbing all the chocolate. trying to beat me, that's what yeah. she was doing. Something is funny. Call the CDA hotline and we'll be there in a flash. Yes, this is another first for us. We've never done this. Other than coming in a uh, trick or treat night, um, Mickey's not so scary Halloween. <laughs> I think it was down at the front, the drums, weren't it, when we were like digging yeah. in for the chocolates. Yeah. Look at showing people in the audience. Or they told me to come out and get you ready for our monster of ceremonies. He's gonna come out here. He's a little green monster. He's got one eye. If you know his name, shout it out real loud! <laughs> That's right, it's Mike Wazowski. Oh, I have to ask, um, are there any mics out there today? Raise your hand if your name is Mike. Any mics? Oh, I see a couple of hands went up. A little orange hand went up and then they put it down. Okay, so that's a false mic. Totally fine. Okay, thank you so much. That's our mic check. <laughs> Just a little jump to get us started. We got a couple of laps around that game, it's a really good time. And we have this. Oh, the little laugh meter. Going up every time somebody laughs. If they put it on me, you're getting up. See that giant canister? That's where we collect your laughter. The more you laugh, the more power we collect. The less you laugh, well, we may not have enough power to open the exit doors. <laughs> <laughs> Right, together we're 
salmonella. Yeah. <laughs> we're here because we're going to tell you a very famous tale that happened right here at Monsters Inc. featuring you as the stars. Yeah, brother, it features yeah. everybody yes. on except for that guy. Oh. Generate power for Monstropolis. <laughs> but one day a little girl wandered into the monster world through an open doorway. Ooh, that's right, and her name was. Why are they booing me? A little girl, and her name was Boo. There she is. Oh. They called her Boo because she likes to play peekaboo. Can you play peekaboo? Peekaboo. <laughs> Between 1 and 50. Do you have a number in your head, Laura? Yes. All right. I will now pluck that number from your brain, Laura. But first, please tell the audience the number so they'll know when I get it right. But don't worry. I will close my eyes so I can't hear you. 25. Have you told the audience, Laura? Yes. What? <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> I've told the audience. Laura, should I open my eyes? What? Open sesame. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Do you have sesame, by the way? Sesame. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, sorry, Laura. I got distracted. Laura, be the number to me with the powers of your mind. Put your hands up to your head, Laura. <laughs> right. We're heading out of Magic Kingdom now. Hi guys. For our 12th. It wasn't quite a ride, no. but it was an experience. We were going to leave because it was that crap. Yeah, it was alright. So it I said you right. can't count it if you do. <laughs> so we uh, have done 12 things now. Um, these guys are going to go to guest services just to register the, the glasses as lost. We're going to go back to the car and we're going to head to Animal Kingdom. We just managed to get a lightning lane. No, I mean, is it lightning lane? Yes, Genie Plus? Lightning, well, do you yeah. whatever it is. Genie Plus lightning lane for... Kilimanjaro Safari. Safari. Yeah. So that's and then we may do Kelly River Rapids to cool yeah. down. And then we're probably going to see what else is available as a, as a on standby and then get across to Hollywood Studios and then hop between there and Epcot if it quietens down and just do some more rides in there. It's quite it's going to be four. a long day. We've yes, been in here since four. 9 this morning or 10 this morning, About whichever. Half, yeah, 10-ish. So. So the car said 39 when we got in, and it felt it feels all. like it. It's boiled the water in the flask. My water I didn't have a drink of. <laughs> it's really warm. Um, so we're heading to Animal Kingdom. We've got Kilimanjaro safaris on Lightning Lane, and um, then we'll just see what we'll get up to after that. Not loads of choice in other parks, but then there never is for Genie Plus. But it's definitely yeah. worth it for Magic Kingdom. Definitely worth it. You've got to you've got to get the timing right and mm. the crowd levels right, or you could be waiting there as well. But we'll give you a breakdown at the end of this vlog with what rides we did on standby and what rides we did on Genie Plus. We are tracking it. This time we should be quite getting in. It's 4:40, uh, so 4:52 in the afternoon. Right, we've arrived in Animal Kingdom. Vicky and Emma's just gone back to their hotel room to pick up a spare pair of sunglasses, and um, it's baking red hot now. As Lee said, it was 39 degrees in the car. We've just arrived. We're going to meet them in the entrance. Oh, that's so good. Iced coffee from the Joffrey stand just outside um, the entrance. And we'll have a mango iced tea, which is just as good. Ooh. Here we are, Lightning Lane at Kilimanjaro Safaris, although it is only a 15 minute wait time. We've but got that uh, in we've got that, and then we'll try and get something else after this. I'm not very well done, but okay. <laughs> Right there, there's a rhino on your foot. Black rhino back there. Just see its butt. Over on the left, up on the hill, you might notice that during the day, they're probably going to be asleep underneath the water. Whoever their bodies have. 
And although now hippos are highly territorial animals, they are completely herbivorous, which means they only eat grass. Because that's what they eat. Look at the size of that crocodile. Oh, it's an alligator. But we should be able to head further in to get a little closer to them and get a better view. Just so licking its bum. How nice. I can hear a lion roaring. Can't see it though. While we were on the safari, Nick booked our next lightning lane, so we've gone for Everest. Yes. Um, so we should be able to get straight on that. And uh, it was we could have walked on it. I mean, it's only like 20 minute wait anyway, but I booked it on a lightning lane and the walk on time was the time I booked it. Yeah. So we could have like literally skipped the standby and booked yeah. it before we there and gone straight in. And we decided that um, we wanted to treat the girls to a nice Disney meal. Yeah, so we've booked something as a little surprise for them. They know we're going somewhere. They are fussy eaters. So, where are they? We're just going to say where we're going for a meal, we don't want you to hear. They're, fuss, they're fussy eaters, so we are going to Boma. Yeah, where it's so like there should be some curries thing. and unusual flavours. Well, yeah, but, there's, the, but they do have chicken and chips. Yeah, we've just looked, in there case. are like chicken and chips and things like that. We need to broaden the palate. Yeah, so it's a nice buffet. We went there in 2019, I think it was. Yeah, um, but we've never been back since, so I'm looking forward to that because I'm getting really so, hungry. So our challenge has to end at 8, 820. Yeah, so we've got between now, which is about half past five, something like something that. Something like that. Um, to, to do to as get many rides studios. as we can. I mean, we don't have to go to Hollywood Studios, but we can do some rides in here, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll Just will. to do as we many will. rides wanna, as we can. I want to do Tower of Terror. What ride number are we on? Ride number 14. 14. We're just talking about food. And, um, oh, we're in the lightning lane on this one. We got it on Genie Plus. Right, let's go. I'm starving, are you? I want some of their fries, yeah, man. We're going to get some Mr. Kamal's fries, but I think they've changed the sauces. It's now a sriracha mayonnaise rather than the two individual sauces that we got last time. That sounds good. But they're still seasoned fries, yeah. so um, we'll give them a try and we'll compare them to what they were last time we had them.
sure I got spiders in my mouth. <laughs> oh, I hate that ride. Absolutely <laughs> hate it. Oh. Jesus, no wonder I feel faint. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that lounge fly. Fluffy. That would make your back sweat for sure. <laughs> so you didn't like that ride? No, I don't like it. I feel a bit weird. <laughs> That's what I feel like on Guardians. It's not like that, honestly. <laughs> Nick says he feels a bit weird. Yeah, my legs feel like jelly. It's like my legs feel like my head does. Yeah, yeah. Everest for me is one of those rides that I always think, yeah, I want to go on that, and, I, and I, I like looking forward to going on it. But when I'm on it and it starts going backwards, oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> but I come off laughing, so that's the main thing. So I keep going on it. Um, so we're going to call for some um, Mr. Camel's fries or camel or something like that, uh, which we've had before, because we're a little bit peckish. We've got three hours until we eat at. Oh my god. Right, here we go. Mr. Kamal seasoned fries served with sriracha mayonnaise. There's a bit of a weight on them, as I said. Right, we've got the fries and they have changed it. It's you used to get two little sauces, like a sweet one and a spicy one, and they've now changed it to a, like a sriracha mayo. I would imagine the old sauce, which was like a soyery type sauce, was nicer. Like, um, like a spicy mayo. Yeah, it's like mayo. It's nice though. We love a simple fries. I prefer the other one. Mm. Don't you? I like, I like the fries though, the fries, mm. the fries are gorgeous. I like yeah. paprika. Mm. Right, it's getting slim pickings on uh, Genie Plus now. There's literally nothing left in Animal Kingdom for ages. There's hardly anything left in Hollywood Studios no. either. So, so it's six o'clock at night. We've managed to get a smuggler's run. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go drop these guys off at their hotel because they've got their car as well and then we'll drive. So they can, they can have a drink tonight. Um, and then we're gonna go to Hollywood Studios, smuggler's run, probably try and do Star Tours. Star -tours. Uh, and Maybe then Tower of Terror is one of those weird things is. where it's like no wait times. Yeah, and then head to our evening meal, which I'm very much looking forward to. So at this stage in the day, six o'clock, there isn't much left in any of the other three parks other than Magic Kingdom for, for lightning lanes. So it's been worth it though, hasn't it? I think. It, we'll do a summary like we said I at the end. So. I think it's been worth it. It would it's more worth it on a busier day. Today hasn't been that busy, but well, it, it has helped eliminate. I mean, if we added up all the queue, the standby times for all the stuff that we've used Lightning Lane for, yeah. we'd have still been stood in Magic Kingdom. Right like when now. we were going in, pa uh, what do you call it? Pirates of the Caribbean. We're walking past the standby queue, we're like, oh my god, thankfully we don't have to yeah. stand in all that. So, in a lot of cases, we've actually booked it while we've been stood at the right door and then walked straight in the night in the lane yeah. even though there's been a 20 minute standby queue. Yeah. So in those cases it's actually saved 20 minutes just like literally yeah. on the spot. Right, back to the car now. Right, the girls are staying at All Star Music. Uh, they are there in front of us in their Mustang with their roof down looking very cool. Um, so we're just going to drop them off at their uh, room then it makes it easier for us all to go in one car to Boma. Still don't know where we're going but they're excited. Yeah. They've just had Kamal fries and they were a bit spicy so they'll be fine. Yeah they're quite plain eaters but we're hoping they'll find lots at the uh, Boma buffet to uh, enjoy. Right third park of the day heading to our 15th ride of the day. We're heading straight for our lightning lane, which is Smuggler's Run. Nice vibe tonight. Not too busy. And uh, finally starting to cool down a bit. All of a sudden I'm starting to flag. I think I've just heard Nick saying he's, he's flagging as well. Did you say you're flagging? A little bit. That's <laughs> the heat, it's not anything I'm not tired. It's stuffy. I'm just, just a bit, the humidity is like shot up. Yeah. Even though the weather I've said it's 55%. It's cooling a bit, but the humidity is, is sticky. Yeah. I was just uh, saying the same, I'm starting to flag slightly. I think a beer would fix me. Maybe a coffee would fix me. Fix yeah. me and then a uh, special meal. We have time to nip into Star Tours on the way past. It's only 15 minutes. So that is ride number 15, 15? is it? Yep. Just doing an Insta story. Check the laser cannons. Who knows what's... Right, us three are on the back roll. He's on the next one down. Trying to reduce the shaking about for his uh, his bad back at the minute. So um, told these guys the back row is more intense. So we'll see what they think when they get off. 
Auto takeoff sequence initiated. Uh, 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 excuse me, you don't seem to understand. I am not the captain. I am C3. 1401, click for takeoff. Contact departure on frequency 1499. Wait! Whoa. Wait! Auto detail, I am not programmed to fly these things. Now just turn us around this instant. <laughs> It's a new sequence, I'm not seeing this one. So as I said on there, I don't think we'd actually seen the beginning part, but towards the end we've definitely done that before. So it's I like think a mishmash. they mix and match the different yeah. sequences. Like it'll either be Darth Vader or Kylo Ren to start it off. Then it'll be bits from different films. But um, but yeah, the last bit where we flew into that boat shed, we've seen that before, that but not the Wookiee riders in the uh, in the forest. Right, we went in and it was um, daylight come out and it's uh, almost it looks blue black. on there though but it's actually pretty <laughs> black for us and our, and our eyes so we're heading into Batu now for probably our final ride um, and we're going to go on Smuggler's Run and then we're going to go for a meal we probably could have fitted in a couple more rides had we not been going for a meal probably but um, we thought it'd be nice to finish the day off at a Disney uh, restaurant I think we've got as money's worth don't you? yeah I think so yeah we will do a summary at the end of this video what yeah. we thought and how many rides we did on Genie and how many rides we did on Standby number 16 standby wait times only 30 minutes so it wasn't too bad we've got the lightning lane yeah. he's working they must have changed his factories yeah they must have done Right, we've got gunners and engineers. We've got this. We'll fix what they destroyed. Yeah. A brand new Good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order trade shipment of coaxia. Flight engineer. Repair it. Hit your flashing buttons. Good job, engineer. Right, to give a for it. right pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left, move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right, pull back on the stick to fly up and push forward to fly down. Weapons are online. Keep bashing those controls! Oh, 
we got into the parks early this morning yeah because we didn't really plan today it was a last minute thing had we got in earlier we could have done more and had we not been going to Boma, uh we could have done more uh, I can't hear you. but we did 16 uh we could have easily done like 20 easily yeah uh, but we did set ourselves a target of 20 actually but we've not got there but if we've yeah. done like some rides like dumbo and aladdin's carpet and stuff like that but anyway we're heading out now if you count the monorail and the two trams go to 19. No, you can't. That, that's just, they're not right. I bet some people will agree that they're part of the Disney rides. So we're going back to the car and heading for a Disney buffet meal, which I'm really looking forward to now. So it's been a while since we've been to Jumbo House. So um, I've actually forgotten, is that the place where they've got the fireplace upstairs overlooking the, think so, the bar? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Before you get called. I think so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, where are we? Oh, oh yeah, around oh, there. Around here. Your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving, and supervise your children. Thank you. It feels weird being a tram in Hollywood Studios. That's because we're too bloody lazy. No, but I mean, it's been so long. It's back here. Yeah, the tram's a bit here. Fantastic fireworks going off. You may exit here if you're parked in bus. Here we are. Jumbo House Animal Kingdom Lodge. Google gave it away when we got in the car. She leaked it. She, she put it on the screen and we covered it. And then she went, Boma will close at 9.30. Yeah. So we're all looking forward to sitting down and getting some food. I love the theme in all the Animal Kingdom uh, hotels. Like the, yeah, the dark wood and the sort of smell of smoke and uh, charcoal and things like that. Why does resort fucking make me giddy? Because it's just, it's like, it's just nice, isn't it? I like it's it. It's like a free theme park. Love this place. I would love to stay here one day. Yeah, no. Before, where you walk from side to side, and the, that's the um, fire pit where we've sort of sat down and. Uh, had a drink or something before. We bought a pack of donuts there. Yeah, oh yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're heading this way yep. for Boma, and that's Boma where we're eating. And wow, look at the uh, buffet already. You can see the dessert station. No, you worry. I'll be checking them all out, each and every one. So we're just gonna wait five, uh, ten minutes for our table. It's round. Right, we're all off together because we're so hungry, we're not waiting. So we did describe everything and oh my god, there's so many things on the list that I want to try. So the first section is the carvery and they have a, an oxtail stew, which I seem to recall from last time is really rich, like an oxtail soup. So, um, oh, well I might try a little bit, but there's so much stuff, I hope I don't overfeed myself and I have a feeling I might do. Ooh, sweet corn pudding with spinach and anisha cap and on. jam. There. Just put me a little blob on. A tiny little bit. Ooh, what's this one? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have what's a this? Bit of it. It's like sweet potato by the looks of it. Oh, you put me a blob of that on as well. Sweet potato? Yeah. What's the one at the end? It's a salmon. Put me a little bit of salmon on as well. 
I'm one handed because I'm filming. We're gonna, Tiny little bit. We're gonna no, no, from the back, from the back. The nice flaky one. That's it. Ooh, yes. We're going to end up with all sorts on the spine. I know, I know. Oh my god. Lee, look at these. Look at the meat on those ribs. I'll have one of them as well. I'll have one of them as well. I'll have one of them as well. Um, screw that. Get me that, get me that rib there with the meat. Which one? That one. That yeah, one. that one. It's got yeah. my name on it. It's calling me. The plate's going to be full. What have we got here? Horseradish. Ooh, a bit of this sun dried tomato dip. Wait a minute, I want some meat. Yeah. What is it? Oh, yeah, yeah please. please. Yeah. So it's like a sirloin? Well, no, it's not. Thank you. It's almost like a gammon, but it's beef. And I want some both of these sauces as well. What? Is there any more that's a little bit more well done? Leave being fussy. I don't like it when it's red. Can you put me the sauce on? Which one do you want? The red one the and meat. the other one, yeah. Put that on the meat. And then put the mustard on the rest of the meat. That'll do. Right, I'm going to go and sit down before I go around any then. further. So calling on the way back to the table, we saw the veg stand. So I'm going to have a little bit of veg, just to colour the plate. I need to go find the um, cornbread. The cornbread was... Um, no, I said it was down here. Oh, did it? With all the hummuses and flatbread. Oh my god, it's the oxtail stew. Uh, I'll come back for that. Right, hum oh, I can see the cornbread. It's in the middle. Can you get me this one of them? One. one of them? Yeah. Oh, it's very moist. That's that's enough now for my first plate. I'm off to sit down. Just a couple of yeah, bits of chips. Worries. Right, and just let's do this. smidge of hummus. Sun-dried tomato hummus. Oh my god, it's so hot. Just a, uh, a small little plate to start with. What's hot? Which that. one? <gasps> very, very hot. Like, it's sweet when you try it, but then it kicks in afterwards. Well, he's already scoffed his first plate, gone back for the second. Yeah. What is that? It's uh, cottage cheese with a pineapple uh, chutney on top. That sounds nice, actually. It does look, look like a dessert, though. No, that's what I was hoping. It looks very healthy. I'm going back for more steak. That's coconut rice. Oh, yes. I want the oxtail stew next. In fact, I'm gonna have a browse. Right, we're on to desserts. We've gone for the, well, I've gone for the famous zebra domes. Is that the zebra's eye? This is what these, this <laughs> place is famous for, apparently. Zebra domes. So they've been making this for 23 years, did you say? Yeah. You wanna try it? No. Why? Because I'm gonna get me old. Try it. It looks very stretchy. It's very moosey and... Nice. But it tastes of cinnamon. Nick's just got some uh, banana pudding and he's um, loving it. But not sloppy. But there's no taste of banana. I don't understand this right. When you have a banana pudding, it doesn't taste of bananas. And this mean. tastes of more just sugary and sweet. And, um, well, I can't describe it. It's very cinnamony and very soft. Right, we've finished our meal and we're just having a little mooch around the uh, hotel. I could sleep in this chair. <laughs> See? Sitting around the fire, and we're going to go see if we can uh, see any animals. So we think right there is a zebra. The, the, the camera can the camera can see it better. Actually, it's getting darker as I zoom in. Let me try and uh, no, it doesn't work. When I zoom out, I get more light. So we're on the uh, the back of Animal Kingdom Lodge in Jambo House, looking at their own little savanna, and. Uh, we're trying to animal spot, but we've really no idea what we're looking at because it's too dark. Two zebras, One of them moving? Yeah. We were just saying, today has been insane. We've literally done 16 rides, three parks, three, three, four modes of transportation, two trams there, two monorails. A Disney restaurant. A Disney restaurant, stuffed ourselves, we've had steak and we're still looking around and now, it's 10 o'clock at night. I want my bed. We're flagging a little bit. Although I must say, that banana pudding, I have never ever tasted any dessert in a Disney resort as nice as that. Right, after 14 hours or so, we're back in the, why in the eyes, villa. Why are your eyes are closed? Because I'm very, very tired. Why don't we just... So we're going to do a little wrap up now and end the vlog. Mm -hmm. Nick's just got his new phone case arrived from Amazon Prime. Oh, I've got a new phone now, amazing. So, Nick's going to read it off quickly what we did on Genie Plus and what we did just queuing and then we'll just decide whether it was worth getting Genie Plus today or not. Right, so we did 16 rides. Mm. We did 
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rides on standby and the rest on Genie Plus. So we did Buzz Lightyear on standby, People Mover, standby, Big Thunder, Genie Plus, Haunted Mansion, Genie Plus, Pirates, Genie Plus, Space Mountain, Genie Plus. Carousel of Progress on standby, Speedway on standby, Teacups on standby, Small World, Genie Plus, what a waste. Um, Aerial, Genie Plus, Monsters Crash, standby, Kilimanjaro Safari, Genie Plus, Expedition Everest, Genie Plus, Star Tours, standby, and Millennium Falcon, Genie Plus. It was quite funny actually that um, Monsters Inc. laugh floor thing. Yeah, what it was, was funny, funny is that we actually said that halfway through it she would get up and leave. Only because it was taking a long time and we knew we had to get on, but we didn't. We stuck it out until the end. It was quite funny, actually. Um, so yes, at Magic Kingdom, we think Genie Plus is definitely, probably, definitely, probably worth it. Yeah. Um, in the other parks, I'm not no, so sure. Definitely not. Um, like I said, we got to six o'clock and you couldn't get anything no. in any of the other three parks. But you I'm still glad get the odd it. thing at Magic Kingdom. Yeah. I'm glad we got it, and it definitely helped us um, to do as many rides as we have done. Today. I'm disappointed that we couldn't do Epcot, but that was the re reason for that is because it was the opening day for the annual pass previews for the Moana. Yeah, so, so the, the, there's been three and four hour queues there for yeah. that Moana, and then everybody's been going to it's, the park. It spilled to, over yeah. the um, and all the Genie Plus slots went. Yeah. So by lunchtime, you couldn't get anything at Epcot at all. No. And I really wanted to do Soaring Over California and Frozen. But we'll go back and do those another day. Yes, when so, the nutcaseness of Moana calms down. Let us know what you think in the comments below, guys. Um, do you buy Genie Plus? Do you think it's worth it? Um, and just let us know about anything that we've been doing on the video today. And um, hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. You're going to fall over. We'll see you on the <laughs> next video where we're going to have a much more relaxing day. And hopefully yes. I'll give you a villa tour because we know we've not done that yet. Talking about relaxing, I'm off in the pool. And I'm off to bed. Bye. Bye.